would rather have the snow than potential yeah, for severe true. weather, and we're certainly going to see that potential today. I want to show you radar first of all, Ben and Julia. Uh, this is what's going on right now, and if you're uh, making breakfast or brushing your teeth, come on over to the screen here in a few moments. A couple things I want to show you. Here's the rain in Indiana, Warsaw, over to the toll road, and this is a defined line which is scattered showers and thunderstorms from St. Louis all the way up to the Illinois-Wisconsin line where this turns into a full-fledged ice storm west of Madison and then a snowstorm near Milwaukee. Now, currently in Indianapolis, it is really warm. In fact, we should be in the 20s at around 28 at this time of the morning. We're at 58, so you know something's afoot, uh, 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 and certainly these clouds are going to increase quickly. We're going to jump into the 70s today, the warmest of the month, as storms will move in from the west and damaging winds are possible. Now let's play all this out for you. This dramatically shows you why we're going to see storms. 58 here, 58 in Lafayette, 20 degrees cooler in Davenport, Iowa. In fact, in about 100 miles, the temperature there drops almost 30 degrees. That's the cold air trying to press in, and it will get here, believe me, but it won't get here until it causes a little problem with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Later this afternoon, 4 p.m., 73, and that's also when these thunderstorms are really kicking in. I wanted to show you the broad view of this to show you where the bullseye is for this enhanced risk of severe weather. What is an enhanced risk of severe weather? Well, primarily, you're talking about the possibility, and that would be Indy to Fort Wayne to Columbus on east into Dayton and Columbus, the possibility of downpours of rain, damaging winds in excess of 35, 45, 50 miles per hour, and also hail, one to two inches in diameter. So that's possible, not, not necessarily going to happen, but it's possible in this area. Here's the uh, risk of one inch diameter hail, and that would be about a 15% risk. So somebody is going to see some hail more than likely today. Most of you will not. And I always like to look at these power outage indexes. This predicts where there could be power outages because this shows you where the brunt of the storm may hit. And that's primarily rural to the north from Fort Wayne down to Muncie and then down towards Greensburg. So we'll watch that area. Now, let me give you a timeline on what's going on as you plan your day. This is 1030 this morning. We're just cloudy, starts to warm up. Everybody's talking about, hey, when's that storm going to hit? Well, here's when it will start to come in. This is 230, uh, some initial light rain around Kokomo and Lafayette, the band of rain or this first potential squall line in Champaign. Now let's take you to 4 p.m. Stuff could come ahead of this. And I know a lot of you are wondering, could we see tornadoes out of this? Yes, we could if a supercell, one of these large storms, builds either ahead of the uh, system, which sometimes does happen, or with the squall line. So here we go, 4 o'clock near Lafayette and Crawfordsville. By 5.30, we've got some lines perhaps breaking out ahead of this main line, but as we go into 7 and 8 o'clock, widespread showers and thunderstorms, this will actually broaden out a bit, and then as we move into 9.30 and 10, we start to cool down. Cooling down so much that at 6.30 in the morning, Kelly Green is going to talk about snow showers that will be widely scattered tomorrow uh, throughout the area. And then by 8.30, 9 o'clock, maybe 10.30, this will start to move out and we have a chilly weekend. So let's show you the forecast. 73 today, temperatures just continue to fall tonight. 36 degrees on Saturday, 40 degrees on Sunday. Then how about this? We warm back up but we could see storms by Tuesday and Wednesday. We've got a lot to talk about still about these potential for storms. We'll get to that in a few minutes.